my name is Jordy, if you don't know me, and today we tried some new stuff, new to me stuff. Some of it's not new at all, but it's new to me. All I knew coming into this look is that I wanted to wear purple lashes. This is what we came up with. Well, I came up with it. I don't know why I say we, it's just a weird habit, but I do feel like we're like hanging out while I do my makeup. We're in this together. I am wearing the most luxurious robe. This fabric is wild, it's handmade, it's hand printed, it's so gorgeous. If I can remember how I did this hair, do you guys want a tutorial? I feel like I look like a flower. All right, let's do some makeup. First up is this Urban Decay Primer. It's the All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. Dewy foundation grip prep smooths and hydrates. It is clear. It feels nice, it feels hydrating. I typically prefer like a pore filling primer, but this does seem to be blurring my pores a little bit. It feels slippery, not grippy. It looks nice on its own. It is very glowy. I don't have a new foundation to try, so I'm just gonna use my current fave, which is the KVD Good Apple Concealer. I think this is a good way to test the primer too because I already know that I like this concealer. I think that the claim of grip is true because I am getting more coverage out of this concealer. Very interesting. It's still blending nicely but more of it is staying on my face. I spent a little bit of time in the sun and I'm not sure if this is still my shade. I'm gonna need a little bit of bronzer. I'm gonna keep this makeup on for the entire day and I will write in the description how it wore because that's the most important thing about a primer. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour in the lightest shade and I did use this once, but it was in a video where I wasn't talking, so I couldn't share my thoughts. I think this color is pretty much perfect. It is very cool toned, it's nice and light, and it really looks like a shadow. I saw a few people say that they found it hard to blend, but I don't find that. I find that it blends really nice. It's definitely a better price than the contour stick I've been using. And it does seem like it'll go a long way, like you don't need very much product. The applicator is nice and small. I find that I usually have to use a brush, but you can get pretty precise with this little guy. I really don't have anything bad to say about this product. Elf has stepped up their products so much. This is the Hydromaniac Blush Glow Hydrator. I really like the Hydromaniac foundation. This is in the shade Drippin. It looks really pink. Oh, but it's really sheer. It's very glowy, very easy to blend. It does feel a little sticky. I'm kind of scared to put powder on top, but I gotta. I don't have a new setting powder, but I do have a new finishing powder. I feel like finishing powders are better on top of a setting powder. The powder over the blush does look okay. I thought it was gonna stick funny and get like kind of cakey and pasty. This is the Jason Wu powder and I just, I really like it. I've got the new Melt Cosmetics powder this is the Glazed Skin Sheer Finishing Powder in the shade Light. And I'm just gonna put it everywhere. When it has a nice shine, but it's not too shiny. Making my powdery skin look more like skin again. I'm also gonna use the shade Medium to bronze up my face a little bit. Oh, that's very pretty. I used to use this product by Wet n Wild and it was a bronzer and it was called Reserve Your Cabana. It didn't really have any pigment, like it didn't work as a bronzer, but you could put it all over your face after your face was set and it just made you have this like beautiful natural glow. But then it turned out that Wet n Wild wasn't really cruelty free and I think that they discontinued the product anyway. This is kind of giving that. So far, I don't dislike anything. I don't have a new brow product, so I'm just gonna use the Bold Face Better Brows pencil, which is so good. 
This is in the shade B7. I love these pencils because they're really creamy. They're not waxy and hard to use, but they stay put anyway. Every time I clean up my eyebrows, they get a little thinner. In a few videos time, they will be gone. I'll just pluck off the whole thing. This, this skin looks really good. It's a little bit more than I typically wear, a little bit more full coverage. It just looks so like seamless and blended and soft. I don't like doing my brows, that's my least favorite part. I like doing other people's eyebrows, but I do not like doing mine. Sisters, not twins, and me and my sister really don't look much alike at all, so it's true. I have this fractal eye paint from About Face in the shade Refract, and it's stunning. I haven't used it on my eye, though. Look at that. Wow. Put it right on there, and then buff it out a little bit. I'll take the leftover on my brush and put it up under my brow. I have this little loose eyeshadow from Carla Cosmetics. It's an opal multi-chrome in the shade Chill. It has excellent packaging. It has like a little closey lid. A little less spilly than just a pot of loose eyeshadow. And they also sent me this silicone brush, which is really smart because it's more like a finger. And I'm gonna put this on top because it has like a purple hue. Oh, it looks purple in the little pot, but this looks green. That's okay with me. Look at that. I didn't mean to have green eyeshadow, but holy smokes, is this ever pretty. This brush is amazing. I'm going to do the same on the lower lid. I haven't used very many multi-chrome, duochrome eye products. They never really like call to me. I am so confused looking at this product and seeing that it is purple down on my hand. It looks purple and then straight ahead on camera when I look in the mirror it's just green. I'm gonna coat my top and bottom lashes in this colored mascara from Colourpop. This is in the shade Floating Fern. I got these a long time ago but I never actually used them. Ever since going back to filming and using all of the makeup that I neglected, it's really wild how many of the products that I've brought out to use have been discontinued. I guess you have to discontinue products if nobody's buying them and to make room for new products but the turnover seems so fast. Like so many products that I was using a year ago are gone. This mascara is chunky. I'm using a Likely Makeup Juliet Lashes. They're purple. They kind of look like feathers. My eyes kind of look like flowers. I want to do a light purple in the waterline, but I don't have one. This is a NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And then this is Psychedelic Sister from Urban Decay. I'm adding some Carousel Blush from the Clown Palette because it's a really cool tone pink to go with the purple lash. I don't know what to do for a lip. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liner and just smudging it out a little bit. And then using Electric Pansy from Give Beauty. Oh, that's pretty. I love the way these smell. They smell like cake batter. I'm gonna add a little bit of purple liner to the center. I don't know if this is a good idea. I kind of tie it into the purple lash. I'm unsure. No, oh, I think I like it. Add a little bit of a highlight to my nose. And some extra freckles with my ColourPop freckle pen. And some setting spray. And now I will go do my hair and be right back. Has my hair ever looked cuter? I don't think so. I typically put zero effort into my hair, so when I do put an effort and it comes out looking like this, I'm always very surprised. I feel like this look is missing a wing, so I'm gonna throw one on with purple. You can't even really see it past the lashes, but it just makes me feel better knowing it's there. This look is nothing like I had in mind, but it turned out cute. Would you wear purple lashes? And now I need to go eat some lunch. 
Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one.